The first step for anyone would be downloading the correct build and package for your needs. For Linux, you can uncompress the downloaded Blender file and you can double-click the executable to start the installation. Some Linux distributions may have a specific package for Blender in their repositories. Installing Blender via the distribution's native mechanisms, ensures consistency with other packages on the system, and may provide other features, given by the package manager, such as listing of packages, update notifications and automatic menu configuration. Be aware, though, that the package may be outdated compared to the latest official release, or not include some features of Blender. For example, some distributions do not build Blender with Cycle's GPU rendering support, for licensing or other reasons. If there is a specific package for your distribution, you may choose what is preferable and most convenient, otherwise, the official binary is available on Blender.org. Another way to install Blender on Linux would be using Snap. Snap is a universal package manager designed to work across a range of distributions. Assuming Snap is already installed, Blender can be installed through Snap with the command, Snap install Blender. Installing from this method has the benefit that updates to Blender are automatically installed. Blender from Snap should have a more consistent distribution than individual package managers. To update Blender on Linux, you can download the latest from Blender website, then install manually as mentioned before. If you installed Blender using a package manager then you can use the package manager to update Blender as well. For macOS, Blender is distributed as disk images or DMG files. To mount the disk image, double-click on the DMG file. Then drag Blender.app into the Applications folder. Depending on the security and privacy preferences of your Mac, macOS will request your approval before opening Blender for the first time. To keep all configuration files and installed add-ons inside the Blender application bundle, create a folder named config in the local directory. When an update for Blender is released, it can be downloaded directly from the Blender website. Install the new version by overriding the current Blender app in the Applications folder. You can rename Blender app or place it in a different folder to have more than one version at a time. For Windows, the Windows installer will let you choose an installation folder, and will create an entry in the Start menu as well as associate Blend files with Blender. It requires administrator rights. When choosing the zip file, you have to manually extract Blender to the desired folder, where you can double-click the executable to run Blender. No start menu item will be created and no Blend file association will be registered, but there is also no need for administrator rights. You can register the file association manually by clicking Make Default on the System tab of the Preferences. Alternatively, you can run blender art from the command line. To keep all configuration files and installed add-ons in the executable folder, create a folder named config in the local directory of the unzipped folder. Blender can be installed from the Microsoft Store by searching for Blender in the Microsoft Store and installing it. Blender can now be launched from the Windows Start menu. When an update for Blender is released, it can be downloaded directly from the Blender website. The Windows installer can then be run to install the updated version of Blender. To remove a previously installed version of Blender, use Windows Settings or Control Panel to uninstall the desired version. Note, you do not have to overwrite your existing Blender installation. It's perfectly possible to have multiple versions installed side by side. Also note that when an update for Blender is available on the Microsoft Store, it will be downloaded and installed automatically. Steam is a software distribution platform. Blender can be downloaded and updated using the Steam client by following the steps described below on Linux, macOS, or Windows. Download the Steam client for your operating system. Once installed, open the client and log into your Steam account, or create one if you haven't already. Once logged in, navigate to the Store tab, search for Blender, and press the green installation button. Blender should now be available in the Library tab of the Steam client. When an update for Blender is available on Steam, Steam will automatically update Blender for you. Thank you for watching, if you like this video, then please consider to subscribe, you can also check these videos.